Okay, so my name is Rachel Tucker and I am a veteran. I was in the Army uh, from 2002 to 2011. So I joined straight out of high school because um, I wanted to see the world, get educational benefits, and, you know, escape my house. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I was in it for so long because I didn't know what else I wanted to do. And um, they, they're really good about promoting fear of the civilian world. And they were like, there's no jobs. So it's like past 2008 after the Great Recession and there really were no jobs in many places. And even though that the main thing that I wanted to do was go to the university and study, um, I still had that fear. Yeah. Well, one of the things that drew me to About Face was that it's one of the only organizations that has a lot of young people that are anti-war. And, you know, as I was gaining my consciousness through studying at the university and to speaking a lot, like having lots of conversations with Jake, um, I came to see that, you know, what they saw, what was, what what was sold to you isn't really the reality, right? Everything everything has a lot more background to it that it, they intentionally do not want you to know about. And once you do know about it, you can't unknow it. And so that's what happened. Um, like I studied a lot of um, colonial history and Latin American studies and women's studies and all of that. And the patterns were all the same. You know, it's all imperialism, imperialism, imperialism for the rights of a few. And that hasn't changed at all. And About Face was one of those, it is the organization that actively fights it. And, you know, there's nothing better than being in a community of veterans, like people that have many different experiences in the services, but the sir, we all have the similarities. Like we, we can all connect on something. And once I went to the, my first convention this past, this year, last month in Seattle, it was just like super empowering. And you know, it, it, it's okay to talk about your veteranship. It's okay to, and, and needed for your experiences and your perspectives to be out there because we're mainly silenced by by the military industrial complex and and the more people hear us the more seeds get planted and hopefully you know consciousness changes but about face definitely um, it, it it definitely won my it won my heart <laughs> you know at, at the convention we I learned a lot about like the trauma that people have and how they deal with it. So I think it'll be cool, maybe like as a recruitment tool, if we um, have that kind of, maybe like healing space, you know? Especially like for women, it'll be nice because um, women in the military, uh, they, they get harassed like every day. Like it's, it's an everyday thing. And you know, a lot of them do get raped. And a lot of them, like, remember, like a couple years ago, it was like a huge thing in the news, and then it just died. Um, but it still happens because the military is the most patriarchal institution. So, yeah, I would, I would like to see, like, actual the experiences of veterans, like conscious veterans that have been doing healing through art, be the ones telling their own stories. Because there's nothing better than having that primary source of information and experience. Um, an ex-president showing his talent and appropriating experiences of wars that he basically created is is gross.
and you know we should we should all be aware that 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 is not okay and you know I think it, it just goes into that realization of self like you know your experiences matter and you should fight to have your your stories heard by all not those that just have money and contacts and and all that so that's that's what I would like to see and that's what I would like people to know that there's a lot more stories out there and a lot more critical content that that you know we all have to engage in one day hopefully sooner rather than later but we're here about faces here if you need if if there if you want to get exposed